questions about pig. Do you, after doing pig, as I also, do you know, you're, you're an actor, you're a writer, director, what experience are you taking with you? I'd say the main one is I feel like I went from, you know, I had a, had a, my learning curve was perpendicular in terms of after working with Nick, I felt like I learned so much more about not just acting, but just the art of film. And, and just as a person, I feel that I, I learned more from him than maybe everybody I've ever worked with combined. So, so that was really unique and special. Now, the whole time I was, I was in suspense, the way the movie, the story developed with the characters and learning more in depth about them. What, and the scenes, not to mention, which scene was your favorite one of all? I don't know. The, the whole movie is like one big, uh, unbelievable, fun marathon. I mean, I'd say maybe, you know what was the most fun randomly was the scene where we are sitting at the table together and he's asking me about my dad and we're kind of there and he's crushing the food with his hand and he gives that speech that we don't get a lot of things to truly care about. And, you know, that was really, really incredible to watch that masterclass. But all the scenes in the car, I'd say, are the number one. Mm -hmm. All the scenes of he and I in the car together was pretty special. It was pretty special to work with Nicolas Cage like that. So close, I'm sure. Unbelievable. Can you talk a little bit about the dinner scene? Oh, at the end? You know, I feel like that's almost like a spoiler, so I kind of want to avoid even talking about it at all. But I think it's a pretty special, um, great cap to what you'd expect to be revenge movie. It instead turns into something, I think, more singular and more unique. I was not expecting that. Uh, I was torn for favorite scenes. Was that one and the one in the basement? Like so much going on. Oh, Can you fun. talk about shooting that scene? Yeah, I loved, I loved yelling at Nick. <laughs> it was fun. I loved yelling at Nick. Yeah, yeah, that scene, th there was just so much. You're just like, what's going on? I don't understand. And it, but it's, it's, it's unbelievable the way he just, he's just took it all. And, oh, I was just like, I want to beat up that little man. <laughs> <laughs> me? No, me, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to beat up me, beat up the... Yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's my height. I can take him. <laughs> First of all, I am almost 6'1", so Nick just happens to be enormous. Okay, I just want to put that out there. Yes. <laughs> that I am a little man emotionally. Yes, because when you finally he goes on his knees and then this guy's finally like, like at part, I'm just kind of like, unbelievable how he's just like, keeps it together. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And then also wait, are you talking? Sorry, are you talking about the guy who punches him mm -hmm, in the basement? I thought you were talking about me the whole time. No, I was talking about the basement, that scene. I, I thought, thought you were calling me the little man, which I am no, totally no. comfortable with. He is little emotionally. <laughs> okay, got it. I got it. I know who you're talking about. Yes, that is a little man. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was torn between the dinner scene and that scene because there was. Oh, a that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. What was it like filming that scene, though? fun you know just a really great it was just it was it was very odd being in that basement and and, and you know having all those people there and it was kind of a, it almost felt like it was like a church it was like really really quiet and kind of you could hear everybody's footsteps it, it, it was fun so what was it about this role that made you want to be like i want to i want to be a mirror well i did the number one thing was nick the fact that it was you know nick kate is just was the most incredible thing in the whole world. It's one in a million. He's really the whole reason I even got into acting. And you know, without any exaggeration, Family Man and Matchstick Men and and uh, adaptation and uh, I mean, uh, basically every single Vampire's Kiss and Raising Arizona. They all were movies that were the, the the reasons I even wanted to be an actor. And I've always looked to him for my inspiration and my sort of uh, fulfillment and guidance. And so. To, to have him right next to me, guiding me through these things and scenes and obstacles and teaching me what it really means to be an artist was like, I, I can't imagine a better experience or a better teaching experience um, uh, 
or, or being taught experience. I mean, a learning experience. Um, so I just felt one in a million. It was just, I, I, it, it's hard to even intellectually talk about it because it was something so profound and, um, and it, it hits me so viscerally to even talk about it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time. Definitely appreciate it. People are going to love Pig that comes out on the 16th. And you also have Old, so congratulations. This is a big month for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.